What's up guys? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll post weekly videos on creating passive income and that's what we all want, we want to be independent. So subscribe. What's up guys? Welcome into session 5. Almost the last session, next week will be a last session. But welcome to the Amazon Selling for Beginners series. Today we will be going to create a shipping plan. Uh, before we do that, I want to say that in the first week we found our winning product. We now optimize our product. We found a supplier. We created an account and listing last week. This week we're going to create a shipping plan. And then next week in the last session, we're going to be selling our product on Amazon, which is the end goal. We want to make 10,000 bucks a month. And it's really possible and I'll show you guys how. But today we'll go into shipping. So shipping, how do we let Amazon know that we'll actually be shipping to them? And how do we get packaging labels and everything? So I'll show you guys. You go to your inventory, you go to your product. So as we've seen last week, here we made our product we made. Hopefully by now you've completed your whole listing and it looks good and it's uh, keyword uh, sensitive, so it's good. What you want to do is click here and we actually want to send and replenish inventory right now. All right, so you'll get this screen. What you want is you want to create a new shipping plan. You, you want to send it to a certain location. Um, I blank this out because I actually have my uh, own uh, supplier here. I don't know why it's showing there on default, but you fill in the address of your supplier. So you need to ask for their address. Then here, what does this mean? Individual products. What this means is you'll be selling in the, you will be sending individual products to Amazon. So one product per package or um, different products per package. But what we want is case packed products because I'll be having like 500 pieces of bottle trays into multiple boxes, but it's all the same product, but it's going to be in multiple boxes. So that will be case packed products. Then we say continue to shipping plan. And again, I blanked out shipping location because I'm just gonna use this as default. What you have here is it shows your, your uh, product. Just check that out real quick. And then they ask you how many units are you going to send per case and how many cases are you going to send. What's really important, if you haven't done that in your uh, product listing, you need to give the measurements of the, 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 the package. So your supplier needs to send to you how big the package is. And I like to use centimeters, but for now, let's say it's 10 by 10 by 10. This is just default. Ask your supplier and make sure it's accurate because Amazon can be a real dick into uh, denying uh, shipments and then sending them all the way back to where they come from and then you have to send them again which is going to cost you a lot of money. So make sure this is alright because it's really really important. Also make sure to Google Amazon FBA shipping requirements because this is going to show you what the maximum amount of box size is because they have a maximum size or what the maximum amount of weight is just research this because you want to be prepared and you want to make sure everything is all right and by the rules so do that and then fill in your dimensions here you also need to put in the weight i say it's uh, 1.2 and then we have 100 units per five cases so 500 items probably and i don't know why this changes automatically which is annoying save outside the standard range what is the standard range then i don't know centimeters there we go 
this will do fine. All right, so then you have uh, set your, your uh, units per case, the weight and everything, and the cases you're going to send. Then you click on continue. Again, this is blanked out because I don't want to show you my uh, supplier. Uh, but then here you see prep guide. We want to prep it for Amazon. I, I want to let Amazon prepare it. Just read if you want to do this, but I use this. But my suggestion for you, read every bulletin and every uh, information box that Amazon is giving to you because you want to be prepared. And I can't show you everything in this video. I wish I could, but then we would be uh, done here for, for hours, stuck here for hours. But I don't want to do that. So I agreed to the terms of service. I want to be uh, by Amazon. I'm not sure what this was. Oh yeah, here you can put what you want, but I'm not doing that. All right, and then you click continue. All products must have a scannable barcode. This is just uh, an announcement on that you must have a good barcode, but we have that because we did it with speedy barcodes in our listing last week. So that should be all right. Then you press continue. And they will calculate the cost for you as well. Then we say create new. And then here, this is finally the moment you're going to find out where you're going to ship to. I am going to ship to Dallas, I see here. Once you get this address, you can send it to your supplier and you will get a better address later as well. But for now, this is all right. And then we say approve shipment. All right, so now the shipment is done. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on work on shipment. And then this is the last part. You now have all the information you need on top here. You know the ship to location. So you know where to send to. One thing is sometimes Amazon uh, puts in multiple warehouses for you to send to. So for instance, I have to send 200 pieces to the south of America, 200 pieces to the north of America, and 100 pieces in the middle or something. This is just an example. But the way you can change this, uh, you can actually change this in your settings. I'll show you guys at the end of this video how to do that real quick. But now let's finish this, uh, this shipping plan. So what we want here is if you have regular smaller products, which is usually the case, you have to click on small, pa small parcel delivery. If you then have bigger products, then less than a truckload. If you want to find out what your category is, just click on the link. I told you before, it's good to check out all the information Amazon is uh, giving you. But then do that. And then I say you ask to your supplier, what uh, logistics are, there, are they going to use to send it to uh, Amazon? Or maybe you have your own logistics partner, your own freighter. You can actually uh, just buy product from your supplier and get a different uh, company to s ship your product. Uh, maybe that's cheaper, you can find that out, but I actually used my supplier's uh, freighter and they used DHL. So you want to put it in here, you have them all here. So ask your supplier that, and then here you can click on multiple boxes because we have multiple boxes then you say use the web form and then you say unit per configurations so we had uh, five boxes of 100 pieces we had and a box weight this is the master carton box weight so this is different from the weight we put in before the weight we put in before at the previous page is the weight of your product so the weight per product this is the weight per master carton so the weight of one of these five boxes all right so for now i put in 0 0.2 per product so it will be 100 times that and that's going to be 20 kilograms and i don't actually know how much lb that is but we'll see Box dimensions, 
this is again not the dimensions of your product but the dimensions of the master carton so one of the five boxes I say for now save for later or you can confirm it uh, I'm not going to do that right now because then it's going to get into the system and I want to make sure the dimensions are all right but you click confirm and then you can see it here already you can print your box labels and these labels are for Amazon and they have their scanners so once they receive shipments they can scan your box and they know where to put it in the warehouse so you have to print these so you get a PDF and you send this to your supplier and your supplier is going to put them on the box and make sure they do by the Amazon FBA rules and again you can google this there is a lot of information out there I'm not going to show you all of this because this is like your own research thing and it goes faster if you research yourself uh, but yeah that's what you're gonna do and then you say complete shipment and then you're done you're done so now we made a shipping plan you know how to do it you can now send it to the location that has given to you and I promised you guys before that sometimes it will be sent to multiple warehouses how can you change that I'll be back to you guys in a minute all right guys so I'm back what you want to do to change your inventory settings so that it will be sent to one warehouse you click on settings you go to all right, you go to fulfillment by Amazon. And then here you see inventory placement options. Click on edit. And then here distributed inventory placement. This actually means it is a possibility that it will be sent to multiple warehouses. If you don't want that, you say inventory placement service. I think it costs a little bit more money to do that, but it also costs more money to uh, give your logistics company more work because they have to send to different locations. So my recommendation is change it to inventory placement service and then at your shipping plan, you will have one location. So click update and that's it for now. I hope to see you guys next week. We'll finally will be selling our product on Amazon we're very excited to show you guys how to do that and how to make our 10,000 bucks a month. And I really hope it's going to work for you. I'm confident you guys can do it with this session. So yeah, I will see you guys next week.